The first example is a C-shaped magnet. The magnet is made of steel. Then the coil was wound all along the steel part and the steel part was magnetized. Now our task is to correctly simulate this magnet. I'll start quick field and create the new problem. The problem name is C magnet. This is the destination folder to store the simulation files. Next I specify the problem type magnetostatics. The model class is plane parallel and the length units are millimeters. The magnet thickness is 10 millimeters. Now that's all. Here you can see the geometry model editor window. So I will create this circle. Then another circle. This would be the arc part. Thickness is 10 millimeters and height is 50 millimeters. Now this is the geometry of the C magnet. And to calculate the magnetic field I should add the air surrounding the magnet. So I zoom out and draw the boundary. After the geometry model is ready, I should assign labels to each object. I switch to the select object mode and click the object. Then I open the properties window and type in the label name. This would be the air. You see the air label appears here in the list. Next, I should label magnet. Well, this part is magnetized up and this part is magnetized down. So I should assign different labels. They, this part made of the same material, but the magnetization direction is different. So magnet up and this would be magnet down and this is the magnet the curved part and I should assign the boundary condition it is presumed that the Field, the magnetic field fades with distance and far away from the magnet the flux density is zero. So here far away from the magnet I will specify zero magnetic field boundary condition and the label I type is boundary. Now that's all. I can build the fine entanglement mesh But before I could run the simulation, I should assign physical properties. The model is ready, but properties are yet unknown. Well, I should double click the name with the sign with the question mark. The dialogue window will appear and here I should provide the magnetic properties 
the magnetic permeability of the air is one. Okay. Magnet up. Okay, it is made of steel, so the permeability is about 1000. The corrective force is 10,000. And the direction is 90 degrees plus up. Now, for the for this side, magnet down. Again, the same steel material with the magnetic permeability of 1000, the same corrective force, but the direction is down. Minus 90 degrees. Now, what should I do for the curved part? Well, the permeability is the same, 1000. The magnitude is the same. The cursive force magnitude is the same, 10,000. 10, but the direction changes all along the magnet. In previous version, you were not able to specify the direction as a function of coordinates. So, in previous version, it was implemented, it was simulated using the surface current. Instead of specifying the magnitude of course of force here, the surface current were applied negative and positive. And for each surface current, the current value was assigned. Of course, you should in advance calculate the values of the, sur of the surface currents. Now, it's much simple. There is no need to specify labels here. There is no need to assign surface current. You can directly specify the corrective force. The magnitude is the same, 10,000, and the direction now is a function of coordinates. Now, phi is the coordinates of the point. Now, for example, here, this point has the co coordinate phi equal to zero. And the direction of the payment magnet is zero minus 90, min minus 90 degrees down. Here, at this point, the coordinate phi is 90 degrees. 19 minus 19 is 0, so the direction of the pigment magnet here will be horizontal from the left to the right. And so on for other points. Well, let's run the simulation. I will assign Bronte condition. zero magnetic field at the external boundary and run the analysis. You see, this is the field lines. You can see these are smooth lines. There is no breaks here at the boundary. We can switch on the vectors, the vector plot, and see how the parts are magnetized. <laughs>